Bugs, it's me, 007 Georgia Peach, and I have Candles to Haul. Yes, I love every other Wednesday at Aldi because they always have candles and that is my favorite. So they are catering to something that I love so much and I'm excited. So today I'm going to haul some candles. I'm going to show you one of my Aldi finds. Yeah, they call them Aldi finds. So it's always something new, sometimes seasonal, um, that you can find in the Aldi find section. Also, I would like to always do a review at the end of some things that I've tried and used up just to get, get, get you guys an idea of what my take was on it. My honest review, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. If I liked it, I liked it. If I didn't, I didn't. So let's get started. So today, of course, is the Huntington Home brand, but this packaging is different. This one says number 21 and it's the nectarine and honey and this is really pretty like i like this i like this and it's the nectarine and honey let's see if they have anything on the bottom these were um if i don't remember i believe these were 4.99 um i have pictures so if i miss if i've misspoken in any way i always try to show pictures with the price because sometimes i don't remember at the top of my head so the notes are nectarine and honey peaches nectar and vanilla this is a 10.5 ounce Okay, so keep that in mind. Oh, and it's also a two wick, uh, white wax. And it comes up, if you can see, it comes up to right here. I wish they could have filled it up some more because we definitely have space. I'm just saying, just saying. It's a light. So I'm, I've never burned these before, never used them. So I kind of want to see what this do, how it burns, how it throws. Also, I also noticed with the packaging, if you use your nail, I don't want to scratch it. This this coating will come off. So keep that in mind. If you like to display your candles and really, you know, particular about how they look, be careful um, and look for the ones that don't have so many scratches. So yeah, this is light. So I want to see what, what the throw is. On cold, it's light. So just FYI, um, number three. Okay, so they have different numbers. So this one is number 21. I hope you can see that because it has a little a gold foil. This one is number three. I'm saying number three, but NO.3. And I love this packaging too. Really masculine, but it's also sexy, really nice packaging. Is this blue? I think it's blue, but on here it looks black. Yeah, it's blue. So it's pomegranate and sandalwood, and the notes are red fruits, pink pepper, and amber. Mm, nice. Sweet and masculine. I like that. When you smell them together, you get something else, but nonetheless, it's nice. I have high hopes for this one. I like this one. And I hope it's strong and it throws strong, because I like that. Red fruits. Hmm, I don't, I'm trying to think of red fruits that come to mind, but none of them are coming to mind that I smell in a candle. This one is number one. This is the lime, basil, and mandarin. This is really nice. Like, I love the packaging. Like, this is really, really nice. Uh, the notes on this one is citrus fruits, basil, and cedarwood. I like this one. This is coming, like if you want to relax and read a book. Mm-hmm. This one is kind of masculine, but in a very soft kind of way. And it's feminine. I like this one. I, could, oh. I would like this in a perfume. <laughs> I honestly would. It's just calming. Just smelling it, I, I feel really relaxed. I like this one. I hope it throws the way it smells on cold. So, so far, the nectarine and honey is uh, the lightest scent. This one is number 26, caramel vanilla cream. I smelled this one in the store. And, oh, my gosh, this packaging, this type of pink nude type of color. Oh, my gosh, I love it. So, it's caramel vanilla cream, and the notes are cream, um, creamy vanilla, coconut, and toffee. And this one is, okay, yeah. Same, I thought I saw something else. Mm. This smells like a pecan pie. 
or some kind of pecan dessert really nice and like a coffee a nice coffee cream with like the cream being frothed if you ever did that with your coffee yeah it, it smells like the neighborhood coffee shop where you sit out and just enjoy the aesthetics and your coffee that's what this reminds me of so this one is nice as well so so far out of this collection i'm calling this the number collection because they have numbers i like this one for the, like the dessert gooey type of situation and i like this one this is really calming this is really nice now if you know me you know i love a masculine scent and with some feminine feminine perfume sweet kind of thing i like this one i don't know this just relaxes me like i want to take advantage of reading a book if i like this one or just relax and then i love this one because it's like a man and some and a sweet note that one is nice. And then this one is, I want to say, um, yeah, my least favorite. But it's always these that kind of surprise you sometimes. It's always the one you didn't think that would do so well surprises you. So we'll see. We'll see. So I um, decided hopefully that works. So I'm going to move on to the other collection that they have, which is kind of like, again, your fall scents and things like that. So we have the Honey Glaze Pear Cider. And yeah. This is the three wick. This is, of course, $3.99. And this size, of course, is the 14 ounce. Ooh. It smells like a pear. But when I smell it with, with the, the lid, I get more of a spice pear, and I like it. I see the notes. I don't know. It just says honey glaze pear cider. Usually they put notes, but I guess, I guess I say that is the notes, ma'am. Okay, so that's that. The packaging for this one, I was, okay, I see it lightly, faintly, the pear, but I wish they would have kind of did something, you know, pear with some glaze or something like that. But I guess I say, honey, you, it's $3.99. You get what you pay for. <laughs> pumpkin ginger snap. Who likes pumpkin ginger snap cookies? That's all over the place right now. So they have that, and the notes on it is pumpkin ginger. Come on now. Ginger snap. Now, I don't know if these are old, but the ones... Yeah, I guess pumpkin ginger snap is the notes. I don't know why I remember reading the notes and it had more to it. I guess. I guess I say we're giving you the notes. Okay, so pumpkin ginger snap, three wig. Really nice orange wax. I'm getting pumpkin. I'm getting the cinnamon candy. Like the red hot purple candy. Yeah, I like this one. This one is nice. You know, anytime fall, you're going to always get spices. So if you're not into that, you're not going to enjoy the candle. Because you're going to get a lot of cinnamon and nutmeg and all spice and all that type of in a fall candle a lot. Smoke pumpkin cider. Now, I like the packaging on this one. It's like a drink in the pumpkins or whatever with the basil and the little, I forgot the name of that little spice. It was a little apple like, that looks like a really nice apple toddy, but yeah. So it's, the notes are smoked pumpkin cider. I don't know why the notes are, are not really on here like it was the last time. This one is nice. I do get smoke and I don't know about pumpkin. I'm getting a smoke. This is faint here, but on here, on the lid is different. Like a smoked amber scent. But I'm curious to see what this does. I'm excited about this one. And the wax is kind of like a like a burgundy reddish, like a burgundy color. Winter Lounge. This is nice. It's blue wax. On here it looks black. <laughs> it smells fresh. You know, like when you're at, in a cabin or something, fresh log. I don't know. I'm getting a light smoke, but I'm not getting anything with the wax. 
It just says winter launch. Launch, yeah. I'm not getting the scent notes of what they put in there, but yeah, I want to see what this do. Because I like winter candles. Not so much winter candles, but um, the ones that give me that cabin type of feel. I usually like those. So those usually come smoked with a masculine scent. So that's why I'm curious about that one, even though it's faint. Not that faint, but faint enough to where I know it. Uh, I know it's gonna throw. I just can't capture the the notes like what's in it. Now this is the candle that they're gonna have all year round. The tropical escape scented candle is. You're gonna see this one right along with your gardenia and the basic vanilla candle. I smelled this before. This is like the same as the one in Walmart. What do they call that one? I forgot what they call it call that one but it smells good it smells just like that one so if you're into sweet candles and you're really not into like a lot of fall scents because they're kind of repetitive in some ways with the spices and stuff like that and they don't mix it up with a little sweetness or a little masculine or a little femininity you know you, it, it kind of gets repetitive so if you're still like i want sweet then they have this new one added to the everyday collection. You usually find this one in their cleaning section in Aldi, where they have their soaps, um, laundry detergent, something like that. You will see their basic candles there. Still for $3.99, okay? So that is the end of the new collection. Really excited about that. They also they are also gonna have some more that I'll be looking at. I'm gonna try to post the picture. Um, there's four that's gonna be a part of the everyday seen in your Aldi collection in the, again, your their cleaning section. And I'll try to post that. And so let's move on to what I've burned because I have been burning some of my other candles, Bath & Body and the ones from Walmart. Um, but these are the two, the, new, the two latest ones. If you go back to my other uh, candle haul, these are the ones I was part of that collection. And this is the Almond Apple Tort. I hope I'm saying that right really pretty i love the packaging like they did well with this i like that this is so pretty it's a really fresh red apple right just a red fresh red apple have you ever seen a beautiful red apple tree and after the rain you go pick it and you bite into it that's exactly what this smells like like honestly it smells like a fresh red uji apple this one's really pretty it was really pretty and I enjoyed it very much, very much. Also, now this thanks, I said Thanksgiving, see? Thankful, grateful, blessed. That's the name of this candle. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. I knew something was up with these candles. Okay, so it's it, it like this one is titled on the back, but they also have the notes. And the notes for this one is Mandarin, Marabella, Plum, and Coriander. Now... When I burned it, I smelled the coriander. But what it was giving off is Thanksgiving Day. Thanksgiving night, if you cook two days before Thanksgiving, or day, that's exactly what it's giving me. Let, let me explain. Okay, so you know when you're cooking Thanksgiving dinner, preparing, and then you're burning your candles? That's what it gave me all in one. <laughs> I promise you, I, I smelled honey baked ham, I smell dressing, and I smell a spicy candle going. That is what this candle gave me. Not in a like, oh, nasty way, but in a way like, this is Thanksgiving in a candle, like honestly. Like that is exactly what it gave me. Like I was like, okay, now I'm glad I put it in the kitchen. <laughs> but I enjoyed it. But yeah, that's what it gave me. But I'm curious, I don't know why they wouldn't put the notes like this. Then I'll see how it has the title. And then it has the notes right under it. Okay. But when I look at these, say smoked pumpkin cider, it just says smoked pumpkin cider in bold. But underneath it, it's not giving me Pacific notes, you know, at all. So I'm back to guessing again. Oh, this is nice. Ooh, this is nice. Yeah. So, and the other one I burned was. Oh, you know, yeah, no, those are only two that I burned and I enjoyed them and I can still burn them. These were the only two 
that I was working on and I still have some time. I always finish my candles. I don't, I can still light it and finish these off, you know, before they're kind of tossed, well, basically recycled. Okay, let's talk about these. Remember I told you guys about the Pure Aqua Bella Vibe? Okay, if you check the other um, candle haul before this one, check that one out, watch that one, hit like. But okay, so this one was my least favorite, the watermelon raspberry. This is the one that I was just like, okay, this looked like something I would taste before and I would enjoy, watermelon raspberry, right? No, this was, mm -mm. no. It tastes questionable. Like it tastes like you were drinking it and then it goes sour in a bad way. Not sour like, oh, this is sour, candy sour. No, this it was sour like, what is we doing? Why is we on the shelf? Type of sour. I didn't enjoy that one. They also had one called Elderflower. I wish I could show you the box, but I no longer have it. I totally forgot, but Elderflower, I finished that one off. Um, that one was different. Um, Elderflower, I never heard of elderflower i know it's a flower and i know they use that uh the flower part um to create things right candies and stuff like that so i wanted to taste that in a natural soda it was it was cool it was sweet with carbonation right it tastes like juice with carbonation so if you like that then that'll be your thing my favorite one that i cannot find and it hurts my feelings is the blueberry lemon if your Aldi still have that, buy it and try it. I would say buy a couple because you're going to like it. That is my favorite and I cannot find it. And I, my feelings are hurt. So I guess that was seasonal, you know, maybe for the summer. But I wish they could have, you know, had some more around because that really hurt my heart that they don't have anymore. And I checked a couple of Aldis. I was serious about that thing. Okay, so my Aldi find is a specially selected Pumpkin Cheesecake Drizzle Caramel Corn Popcorn. It says caramel corn glazed with classic pumpkin pie spices and topped with a creamy cheesecake drizzle. That got me and also the packaging. It looks so good. I'm just saying. Fireplace, I can't wait. Favorite movie, favorite show. And my candles going. Like, you can't beat that. Oh my gosh, like I'm so excited. So that is the end of my haul, you guys. I have some pictures to show you that like the new things that they're carrying in Aldi. Um, I will have it either at the beginning of the video or at the ending. So let me know in the comment section below what you purchase, what you're interested in or what you plan on purchasing, okay? And let me know if you get Aldi finds, like their new limited edition treats, so or whatever. And let me know what you picked. Until next time, talk to you later and be blessed. Bye.